Hey guys, Nick here from Techro Duo. In this video, we're going to install Sonar on our Synology NAS. So what this tool does is essentially monitors and watches TV shows so that once that show or episode becomes available, it will go ahead and start downloading that. So uh, this pairs with your uh, torrent or your downloaders. Um, it's a very great tool um, and I'm gonna show you how to install it. First thing you wanna do is make sure you have the community tab down here. So I have another video on how to get the community tab to show up. It's essentially just a third party um, repository that gets installed in your package center. So uh, once you have that, go ahead and then follow along. So click here. We're gonna scroll all the way down until we see Sonar. Should be right here, bottom right Sonar. We're gonna go ahead and click install. And then we're gonna click on yes but that's gonna install mono as well. So let's give this just a minute to download. We're gonna continue clicking next here and apply. So uh, one thing that uh, I did just pass over there, it is going to create a user called um, SC, which is for Sonar, um, and that's going to help run the application as well. So let's see, so it's starting now. Looks like it's running. Now let's go ahead and down here, we can see the URL for it. So this is the internal URL with the port number. We're, we can just go ahead and click on this. And it's gonna bring us directly to the page. Let's give this a minute to load. It's most likely just taking a, taking a little bit to uh, set itself up here. There we go. And so now we have Sonar. So as you can see here, we can click on Add Series. And so what we can do is let's uh, type in Bob's Burgers. Hit Enter. And there we are. So it pop pops up here. We can select a path. So we wanna, if we wanna add a path here, we can click Browse. We can then go ahead and find uh, the correct folder for this path. So we can go to Volume 1, which is our um, our main volume here on my Synology. And then I do have Plex and I have um, some TV shows and so on uh, in here as well. So um, it looks like it doesn't have access to this. So what we need to do is just grant access to that SC application. And so you can come back here. We can open up the control panel. Let's go to our uh, shared folder here. And we have our Plex folder. We can edit, permissions, and we can go ahead and add one of the guests here. So as you see, SCNB, NZB drone is, an, is a new option here that was created. So let's make sure that we have the proper users here. SC download. So what we wanna do is click on SC download. We're gonna do read write. We're gonna click on OK. So now it has permissions to my Plex folder. Let's head back to this. Let's actually head back to the Package Center and we're going to stop it. And we're gonna restart it so that the permissions take place. And we're gonna click Run. Let's go ahead and give this just a second to load up. I'm gonna go ahead and click here and refresh. And there we go. So let's click back onto Bob's Burgers. We'll select a different path that we want this to fall into. Volume one, Plex. And now we have our shows. So we can then just select the TV, the TV one, and get it going. So I already have Sonar set up um, with Docker, but it's as easy as that. You click add the show and you're good to go. So you can come back in the system, make sure that they're up to date, you have all the indexes available, and so on and so forth. This is a great tool and I highly recommend using it. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, like and subscribe, and enjoy your day.